Hello everyone, this is Mike from Windows7Forums.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the auto update feature from support.amd.com in order to update your video graphics card, even if you don't know the make or model of that card. If you have an AMD graphics card, you can simply go to the support.amd.com website. From there, you can navigate to automatically detect and install and click on download now. The AMD driver auto detect feature is an excellent piece of software that allows you to detect your graphics card and operating system and it will tell you if a new driver is available. We're going to go here and click on download now. As you can see in IE, we can choose to run or save the file. We will run it. And the information says we have the latest driver for our system. If we did not have the latest driver for our system, we would be prompted automatically to install, download and install that driver, and that process would take place within a matter of seconds. Let's go ahead and see what would happen if we did not choose to use the driver auto update. We would have to go here to download our drivers, choose our category. In this case, it would be desktop graphics. We would use the Radeon HD series for this computer. We would also use uh, the 6 series PCIe, and we would use Windows 7 64-bit and we would go to view results and we would get information here about the Catalyst Software Suite. The Catalyst Software Suite can be downloaded. It's a 92 megabyte download at this time. And we're again going to go ahead and click on run. We're going to download this software and we'll go through the installation process with you to show how you to install these uh, drivers. Now, this is the same process that would occur were you to use the auto detect except the auto detect would find the file for you you want to go to install as you can see the files are extracting if we go to show details we can see even now more the about drivers this. Uh, updating the drivers is important because they typically include performance improvements for all sorts of applications and games even the windows experience itself you want to click next and we'll go to install and we'll go we to agree to the install. end user license agreement. Uh, the operating system is being detected. Graphics hardware is being detected. And you're going to see some funky stuff go on uh, right now. The Catalyst install manager is taking place. Our screen is going to go blank in a couple seconds while the display driver is installed typically. In nearly every instance, the installation of these drivers will occur successfully. Once the installation is completed, you will not be prompted to restart your computer, but technically you probably should. The benefit of using the autom automatic download feature is that if you do not know whether or not you're using desktop graphics, network graphics, workstation graphics, or whatever graphics you need, if you don't know those details, you can get them automatically using this utility. It is almost a flawless utility and it is quite useful. Now, if you're not using an AMD slash ATI video graphics card, uh, you definitely want to go to the NVIDIA site. And from there, you can download drivers for your NVIDIA graphics card. We're going to go to the NVIDIA site right now, and that's NVIDIA.com. And I'm going to show you how to do the same process for an NVIDIA graphics card using a different computer. This computer is the Dell XPS 1330. It's an older model. And we're going to go to the USA website. We click on download drivers, obviously. And we have a whole bunch of manual options, but check out option two. Automatically find drivers for my NVIDIA products. Now this is very important because it mirrors the AMD option and it's an excellent way to get drivers for the Enforce motherboard series, but especially for graphics drivers. Now what we have to do here is download an ActiveX control in Internet Explorer. So when you access this site, you probably want to use Internet Explorer. You see the thing on the bottom of the screen, click install. 
and it's going to send you back uh, a page here. This installation of this ActiveX plugin allows the NVIDIA website to sequester information from your machine. You'll see a scanning system here and as you can see we're using we have a GeForce 8400M GS card and we have a 275.33 installed driver. Now this is very old if you look at the latest update which was August 9th 2011 and this is a new driver 280.26 WHQL indicates that the driver was in fact Microsoft certified. If you go ahead and go down here you'll see release notes and you should check the release notes for the AMD drivers as well uh, those are available uh, on the same on the uh, AMD site in the same sort of way and uh, typically these release notes indicate fixes in Windows for the control panel software as well as many optimizations for various games we go to agree and download we go ahead and click on run and the download will take us a little bit of time. However, the process is basically the same. And this is a good thing, in fact, because you're automatically detecting your hardware and you're able to download updates for that hardware. If every manufacturer took the same sort of objective and placed that onto their website, uh, the problem of updating drivers would be quite simple. Here we are now, and we've selected what drivers we want to install onto the system. These have been automatically detected. The download and installation process has been taking place and the driver installation is on its way. Now we'll close out Internet Explorer here to make this process a little bit more simple. And you'll notice that the installation process is a bit more slow with the NVIDIA drivers and that's only because this system is much older and much slower. However, it is still upgraded with a solid state hard drive. We'll check system compatibility here. The NVIDIA installer is going ahead and doing its job. We agree to the license agreement similar to with the NVIDIA cards and of course we use the express options which allow for existing driver updates and we retain our existing settings as well. The installation process takes place with the graphics driver being installed first as well as secondary tools being installed after that. This process is simple, easy and takes place within a matter of seconds. Bye.